the song? Oh, that song? Oh, I do, I do. Yeah. Remember how it goes? Oh. Trust, Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Oh, yeah. those are such great truths. Yeah. I just, it's so important that we mm -hmm. trust the Lord and seek yeah. to obey Him through our trust in Him. Right. It, oh, oh goodness! Hi, boys and Hi, girls. Hi, boys and girls. Oh, I, you got us when we were just talking about the goodness of God mm -hmm. and how. We are to trust and obey. And how happy our lives can be when we do that. It's yes. so hard sometimes, but oh, it's so worth it. So worth it. There is so much joy. And there's a difference between joy and happiness. Yes, there and there is joy that comes from the Lord and peace that mm -hmm. surpasses understanding. Yes. Oh, well, we were hoping we could play a game with you this morning. Are you ready for a game? Oh, I think they're ready. They were. Yeah, I, they're I heard ready. They're lot excited. The yeses. Okay, so our game today is to talk about what we do if God's word says that all things are for our good mm -hmm. and bring him glory for those who love him and are called so, according to his purpose. All things, not just some things. Right. All, all things. Things. Like okay. we could praise him in all circumstances, even the really tough ones. Okay, so let's say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm that I chose to make a bad choice and I got put grounded to my room <gasps> for like Ooh. an hour because Ooh. it was it was something really bad. It must have been. Yeah. Yikes. But surely got I mean, did you you must have yelled at your parents. Mm, yeah, have I might have. Have you ever yelled mm -hmm. at your parents? Ooh. Yeah, and they just told me to go to my room for a little bit and then they would come get me. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. Is that something can God use that? Me getting punished? To go, to go to my room, can he use that? To... So, like, we could either stomp our feet mm -hmm. down the hall, slam the door, mm -hmm. and, like, get mad in our room. Right. Or we can go, God, I know you're going to use this consequence for my good. I'm going mm -hmm. to spend some time praying with yeah. you, and I'm going to praise you that you use all things. Which one to do? Stomp and be upset that there's... I had a sin, there was a consequence. Or trust or and obey. Trust and obey. Mm -hmm. Which one? Stomp or trust? Stomp or trust? Mm. I think it's trust and obey. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. They can give God praise and glory. Even when they might be a little sad. Yes. But they can talk to God about it. Consequences are hard circumstances are hard. Yeah, because God about, wants to hear your heart. What about yeah. one when it wasn't your sin mm -hmm. and just something around you was really tough? Yeah. Hmm. You know, sometimes when I'm driving on the road, a oh. semi gets really close to me or there's a car that just makes mm -hmm. me nervous yeah. or the weather. You know, sometimes we've had some, some weather right now with snow and uh -huh. it can be a little scary. Mm-hmm. What do we do then? Do we cry in the car? Do we scream and go, oh, I don't like this. I just want it to change. I just want it to change. Or do we trust and obey? Trust and obey. Go to God in prayer. Ask him for help. And ask him for a right attitude. So we can hmm. even do that as we're driving down the road? Even, cool. yes. <laughs> and we would keep our eyes open if we were doing yeah. the driving, right? So. Right. Do we cry and scream when we can't control a situation mm -hmm. and it's hard? Or do we trust and obey, praise him and go to God and ask for help? Mm -hmm. Cry and scream, trust and obey. I'm pretty sure trust and obey, right guys? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. oh, right. yeah. wow. Well, I'm so thankful that God has given us examples in our life, mm -hmm. but he didn't leave us alone to try to figure that out. No. There is someone in the Bible who did that. So do you have your Bibles ready today? Hold it up. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. It's God's holy word. Everything, Everything in it is true. And, and it's living inside you. you. And you. And you. And me. Yeah. Yep. When we've asked Jesus to be our Savior, the Holy Spirit will live in us and mm -hmm. help us to trust yeah. and obey. So before we get started, can I pray? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that your word is true and good and that you do not leave us in our sin or even in difficult things going on around us, but you are here to help us 
and you use it for our good and your glory. Lord, I pray that you would help us understand this story of Ruth today and see how you do work in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. We're talking about Ruth today. We are. You got ah, it. Oh, did I you heard it. catch it too? Yeah. So if you want to open your books up to the book of Ruth, uh -huh. remember it's Genesis, Genesis and Exodus and then Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua and Judges. Ruth. Oh, stuff right there. Yep, just before First and Second Samuel. It's a very short book, uh -huh. so you'll find it. See? Yeah, it's yep. really short. Right before First and Second Samuel. Yeah. It's only now, four chapters, yeah. There is this amazing situation that happens. You see, Ruth is not part of the Israelites. No. She lived in a different land. Mm -hmm. And there was a lady, Naomi, and her husband and her two boys. Uh -huh. And there was, had been famine in the land, so they went to find food. And when they got there, the two sons married some women from the other land. Now, uh -huh. remember, it's not good to marry women from the other land. That was not pleasing to the Lord because they worshipped other gods. Right. But just to give you a quick glimpse as to what happened, mm -hmm. really quick in chapter 1, the two sons and the father passed away, and it was just Naomi left with her two daughter-in-laws. So she said, you know what, I'm going to go back to my family, and you should go back to yours. But one of them, Orpa, she mm -hmm. said, okay, I will miss you so much, mm -hmm. mother-in-law, but I'm going to go back to my family. Mm -hmm. But Ruth had a she different answer. That. What verse is it, Miss Carrie? Well, in verse 16, mm -hmm. it says, Don't urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Mm -hmm. Your people be my people. Whoa. And your God, my God. Whoa. Are you not just blown away? Yeah. Ruth knew there was something very special about Naomi's God. And a lot of things have happened bad in their lives. Yes. But they were, Naomi, Ruth, was using, was trusting and she obeying. She was. She was sad that her husband passed away mm -hmm. and her brother-in-law and father-in-law, mm -hmm. but she trusted and obeyed the one true God to mm -hmm. use it for God's glory and her good. Well, the rest of those last three chapters, they go back to Naomi's homeland and she went out to pick some wheat from the field for them to eat. Mm -hmm. And when she was there, she was in Boaz's land uh -huh. and Naomi said, lay at Boaz's feet. And so, Ruth laid at Boaz's feet and saw that Ruth's heart was for the Lord and to take care of her mother-in-law, and he wanted to marry her. So God did make something beautiful out of a very difficult circumstance. Right. Remember, it was hard for them to find food, and God brought food for them in the yeah. field. Isn't so that cool. amazing? Yeah. And then they got married. And just something for you to know later on, Jesus actually is one of the descendants from Boaz and Ruth. Isn't that amazing? So cool. God chose so cool. someone whose heart was for him, had trust and faith to obey, even in difficult mm -hmm. circumstances. Yeah. Oh, well, what does that mean for us, Miss Carrie? What should we do with Ruth's story? Well, we should learn that we need to trust and obey. Even when life is hard and things don't seem to be going right, like sometimes it's really hard. Family members pass away and that uh -huh. hurts and that's so hard. Yeah. Just like Ruth's husband passed away right. and her father-in-law. Or you have to move just like Ruth had to move. Like oh. you have to move to a new town Maybe. and it's really scary. That would be scary. New, or just new a new school. school. Yeah, super scary. That would scary. be really scary. But you need to trust and obey that God's going to use all things. Yes. And Ruth went to God mm -hmm. each and every time. So. Yeah. So will you go to God? Will you praise him even in the difficult times? Will you ask him to show you what he's doing when it's really difficult? I know I'm going to seek to be mm -hmm. like Ruth this week. Will you? Yes, I will. Will oh, you yeah. at home? Oh, Miss Carrie, would you pray that mm -hmm. we would all seek to be like Ruth? Go to God, praise him for what he's doing, mm -hmm. but that we would trust and obey him as well. Oh, thank you. Generally, Father God, I ask as um, we go through this weekend, as these kids go through this week, God, I ask that you help us to trust and obey, no matter if things are really, really good or if things are just not going as, as we expected, God. I ask that you help us to remember that you work all things for the good. And God, I ask that you um, help these kids to have a good week, God, and help them to be the light to those around them. 
and to share, share this message of what it means to trust and obey with those around them. God, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Have a great Bye. week.